A video today on how to change the Spectrum DX9 gimbals to these Hall Sensor FR Sky M9R racing gimbals. And the reason I wanted to change these is because the Spectrums were letting me down on the pots. I'm having to spray them with WD-40 <clears throat> and we're getting slow pots towards the end of the travel on elevator and then the last straw I'd had it on elevator twice <clears throat> and then I finally got it on rudder so I thought right it's quite an old transmitter I don't know 2012 maybe maybe older I don't know but it's old uh, and it was second when I bought it so it's it's really old one of the early ones so I thought I'll upgrade these now I bought two of these one for either side. You don't actually need the R's <coughs> for either side because they have a shorter travel for throttle movement, which is beneficial for 3D flying. But you don't want shorter throttle, sorry, shorter movement on the elevator. You want that to stay the same. But there is a way around it, as you can see. Uh, there is more on that than there is on that. So. <coughs> Yeah, so that's it. Right, I mean, they do feel a lot better. I mean, it feels a lot, lot better and they work perfect. So, all I do is take these screws out. Now, normally, this doesn't have a screw on the front. Like here. Now I've put this in. Don't look as nice, but I'm not bored. I put it in because you're, you're relying on just that them two screws at the back. Sorry, it's a little bit uh, of a tiny screw. Right. So that's it. So yeah, you were relying on the you're relying on those two screws when you pick the transmitter up. Out, but not. Right. Now then, this because this has been done, this has been modded. Well, let's just get the video picture a bit, uh, a bit more in line. Now your main two plugs here, they're off the original Spectrum gimbals. And I, I cut these off and soldered them onto the wires from the FR skies on both sides. The rear, they're tucked in there. Look. You can see the heat shrink over the solder joints. Now, <clears throat> self explanatory, you cut the plugs off. You know, if you watch the rest of the video, it shows you how to, to cut. Well, not cut, actually cut, but I actually unplugged the connectors from the, the FR sky, pl original plugs, and then just made them as long as I could, these FR guys, and then just sold them to the relevant two plugs. One, that's throttle, that'll be rudder, and then you've got your aerolon and elevator on that side. Now, <clears throat> the important bit with this is this is the only one where you don't reverse the red and the black. This one and these two, you reverse the red and the black. In, you actually take them out of the plugs. So you take those plugs out, obviously, which you have to do. And then just unpin the, the little plastics connectors, pull the plug out, and then swap the red and the black over. Here, there, red and black at, at the bottom and in the middle, and the red and the black at, at the top and in the middle again. That's the old spectrum, which is worn on the pots. You can see where I've cut the wires for the new ones. And I'll show you how to do it as well in a fashion. This is the next one. This is going to go in the rudder and the elevator. Okay, this is the back and the wiring. As you cut off and reuse the original white spectrum plug as shown. The red and black from each of the two gimbals is reversed 
apart from the throttle which is the right hand plug top three wires. These are the original FR Sky wires, all the different colours. And you have to put these gimbals on the throttle 180 degrees, in other words, upside down. So I'll just show you in this box. This is this is the gimbal. Now, if you put it in that way, which would be better, this part here catches on the printed circuit board. So you have to, you can just see, you can just see it there slightly slightly sticking out compared to that side which is all flush so that flush side has to be that way around for it to fit and it's a tight fit as you can see it's a very tight fit against your printed circuit board but it goes in it goes in i, I only had to undo the circuit board screws i didn't have to take the circuit board out and it will go in now the wiring, <clears throat> I've left the link below for a guy who posted on the internet a really, really good post on how to do it, but uh, a video is slightly better, I think, because you, there's a couple of things you've got to point out, which took a bit of sussing from his uh, web page, but it, it works. This is an old DX9, uh, probably about 2013, I think, so it's quite an old one. So whether it would work on a new new DX9, I don't know, but I'm not sure you're at your own risk. But the main thing is all the wires, they come with a bunch of wires. And you think, oh, all them wires, but there isn't. All that gets chopped off. And you only actually need six wires. Those three and those three there. All that comes off and it ends up looking like that. All that lot comes off. That's scrap. Now, <clears throat> the other thing is, when you swap this over, your alarm for your throttle is going to be wrong. It's going to be on high throttle. So, he recommends uh, turning your magnet on these. They don't have pots, they have magnets. So they don't wear. That's one of the reasons why I put them in. Now, <clears throat> all you do is turn it 180 degrees. And I'll try and show you that. I'm showing you how to take the magnet out. Now, these two screws here, undo those. Now, this little board slides out. It just slides from in that holder. So you just slide this out. Then, then you take off this next piece. That's your magnet in there. That's what you need to turn. So you need to take these two screws off. Right. Now I've took that off. You can see the magnet there. There is a little screw in the end. So we're going to take that. This is your this is your cover over the top of the magnet which I've just taken off. So now I'll undo that screw and take that magnet off. Right, this is your magnet, which was on the end of there. And I don't know if you can see it, but in the end of there. In the end of there is actually a little slot, which is what your magnet goes into. The little plastic inside the middle of the magnet. Now if you look at the magnet, it's interesting this, because if you look at the magnet, with one side of it's actually black. One half of it's black. And that goes to the top. So all we do, very strong magnets, I think they're the Namedian, no, I can't pronounce it, but they're very strong magnets. Yeah, there's your slot inside there. So all you do is, try and focus on it, you just turn that 180 degrees. So let me take that off. So you just put that then, so the silver bit, is at the top. So, right, we've turned the magnet round. 
So that's that. And I've also need to put this back because obviously there's no spring on it. So what you do with this is because I'm going to use it on Ruddy, I need to take that screw out there. Right, took the screw out, now it centres both directions, as you can see. So that's handy for elevator and rubber. Now, because this is a M9R um, and was less throw than normal, instead of 60 degrees, I don't really want 45 degrees on my throttle. Now, I found on another post online, which makes a lot of sense, that you can take this off with these four screws and put one and a half millimetres of washer underneath and that will allow you for the 60 degrees of throw. It'll just that what it does if you if you watch it, those little two stops at the ends catch on that front plate. So what he's saying is if you put a bigger gap you're gonna get more throw. The only downside is you'll have a little bit of a gap through here, but I'm not bothered about that. So that's a good idea. It saved me putting a, a different gimbal in, an M9. Right, so that's that done. That can now be inserted into there. So I'll have to take that out. Right, just a quick... Now that's nearly out, but it's not. So you've got to undo all the screws, all of them, so that this circuit board, all this green circuit board can lift up slightly. And this also has to come out of your way. So you can get that out of your way. Now you might, I might just be able to get that out. Turn them up. There you go, it's come out. Okay, the gimbal for the airline and elevator is now in. I did have to take a little bit of plastic off down here on the transmitter and that was, the gimbal went in but I couldn't get the screws in on the front so just to move it over ever so slightly I just had to take a, remove a little bit of plastic on these these uh, gussets and that was that, that was fine then uh, yeah I think that's the end of the video really. I did I did have a broken aerial, so I've replaced that. Even though we're getting good a good signal, a reasonably good signal, very few fades on the log. Uh, but I've replaced that. I'll, I will do a range check. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Just make sure you've put all your screws back. All your little you know these. You know everyone with loads with loads. You might even be able to get these gimbals in without actually undoing that circuit board, but I think for what it is, just undo them and then it leaves a little bit of wiggle, wriggle, I can't say that, wriggle room. Uh, I think that's it. I, don't, I think that's the end of the video. I can't think of anything else. They do work really well. I did find, just, uh, just a, when I took the circuit board out over the top of the magnet, uh, and I put it back in I must have got some muck on it because when I come to calibrate uh, it was it was it wasn't right I couldn't get it to calibrate right and when I took it out there was muck on the circuit board so be careful when you take this uh, circuit board out to swap the magnets over and by the way I do swap magnets on both sides I do I did turn the magnets around otherwise you're gonna have to use your trim on the elevator on your on your uh, you know in the program so you're better off changing both magnets on both sides and <clears throat> keep the circuit boards clean I think where you obviously where the magnet has to be detected on the circuit board keep it clean on both sides and you'll be fine and then just check the uh, and what I also what I did find is I actually uh, dropped the magnet and the little plastic came out of the centre of the magnet which caused me 
a bit of asshole really because once you've done that if you take that centerpiece out of the middle of that magnet you then have to recalibrate it yourself manually by turning it to get the zero on the sub trims so be very careful just better to take it out carefully and put it back in I, I did I did the throttle side fine it was the arrow on an elevator sorry which is this side that's the one I dropped and it came out the center the black plastic so just be careful you don't you know to make save yourself a lot of hassle I mean it took me about five attempts taking it out putting it turning it a little bit before I got it calibrated on the monitor screen to zero so and then you to calibrate all you do I mean I can show you that now if you want all you do is just pause it one sec Flight pack. okay no yeah on. so here we are we're in the program setting uh, scroll down system setup yes scroll down system settings scroll down next scroll down next scroll down next volume 100 and then all you do is I'm not going to do it because I've already done it you just move cycle all your sticks into all the corners all your switches your sliders at the back move them from center either side the, the slider on the top move it all the way around your knob and sorry that's your knob do your knob everything and save it so i'm going to cancel that because i don't want to do it volume 60. i've already done it even though i could probably do it again it wouldn't make any difference so main screen and that's it that's the end of the video so you've got some cracking gimbals on the gate they're absolutely brilliant no more pots wearing better spot and the, the great thing about these are very sharp very very sharp tops on them which is much much better much better they were getting worn my other ones i'm glad i got some new ones right